This video is about configuring the NetIQ LDAP Proxy 1.5. The initial configuration for LDAP Proxy consists of installing the LDAP Proxy files and NLP Manager utility. You can configure the proxy settings for your directory server in the nlpconf.xml file. LDAP Proxy bundles a sample nlpconf.xml file with the installation package. Using this configuration file, you can define the listener backend servers and backend groups for your proxy server. Few pre-configuration checklists. Determining the number of listener you want to configure. Determining the number of backend servers and groups. Determining the type of policies you want to configure for your proxy server. Configuring secure communication using TLS parameters. This includes configuring server certificate information in PKCS12 format and configuring ciphers and protocols as required. Listener can be configured under the list listener tag of the nlpconf.xml file. You must provide ID, protocol, IP address and port number of the listener. You must also specify the server certificate name in .pem format. One connection route policy is defined by default. Backend servers can be configured under the list backend server tag of the nlpconf.xml file. You must provide the ID, protocol, IP address and port number of the backend server. You can configure multiple backend servers for your proxy. Backend groups can be configured under the list load balancer tag of the nlpconf.xml file. You must provide an ID for your backend group. You must also specify the names of the backend servers that you have configured. You can configure three types of backend groups connection based, dynamic load based, and priority based. Policies can be configured under the list policy tag of nlpconf.xml file. You must provide an ID and description of the policy. Policies also allow you to configure various set of actions. Here we have shown a sample connection route policy to route all incoming connections to the backend group 1. Few use cases of policies are Accepting or denying client connection working as directory firewall Restricting LDAP operations Configuring access control based on users. Mapping the schema based on the network and users. Setting a search base for your user identities. Thank you for watching this video.